Hey, I'm PH and welcome to Good Bible Knowledge with PhD. In this set of videos, I want to answer common questions about the Bible in a fun and creative way, and I hope these videos will be helpful for you in your own spiritual journey in Jesus. So let's get started. What are the Proverbs? The book of Proverbs contains over 3,000 sayings designed to show God's people how their faith in the Lord and His Word should affect their daily lives. The book of Proverbs is comprised of eight sections written at various times, including several authors and editors. Section 1 through 3 are written by King Solomon in the form of a father sharing his wisdom with his son whom he loves. Section 4 is called the sayings of the wise. The identity of these wise men is unknown. Section 5 is a compilation of proverbs written by Solomon, collected and assembled by King Hezekiah. And sections 6 through 8 were written by Agur and King Lemuel. The purpose of proverbs is clearly communicated in the very first chapter. For attaining wisdom and discipline, for understanding words of insight, for acquiring a disciplined and prudent life, for giving prudence to the simple, for understanding proverbs and parables and the sayings of the wise. The overall theme of proverbs is wisdom. The word wisdom in Hebrew is chokmah, which describes a skilled craftsman highlighting their mastery over their profession. Proverbs were meant to impart spiritual wisdom, teaching the reader how to be skilled in godly living. Proverbs are short, pithy sayings written entirely in poetic style. The predominant structure is that of poetic parallelism. Each verse contains two statements that have a parallel relationship. For example, there may be a comparison between a profound spiritual truth and an example from everyday experience or a repeated statement for emphasis. Because of its poetic form, the Proverbs should be recognized as guidelines. For example, when Proverbs 21.5 says, the plans of the diligent surely lead to abundance, but everyone who is hasty comes only to poverty. This is not a statement of absolute fact. Rather, it is a principle to live by. The book of Proverbs addresses a wide array of practical topics, showing how God's Word speaks to practically every area of the shared human experience, from relationships like marriage and family and friendship, to work issues like diligence, honest business dealings, warning against greed and unhealthy ambition, to social issues such as generosity, seeking justice and caring for the poor, as well as dealing with common emotions such as anger, frustration, and disappointment. All the wisdom found in the Proverbs is ultimately grounded in man's relationship to the Lord. The Proverbs stress being rightly related to God and then being rightly related to others. What the Proverbs illustrate is the importance of the integration of faith and life. Faith in Jesus is not simply a spiritual experience lived in isolation. It is living a life of wisdom, applying the truths of God's Word to everyday circumstances. The greatest illustration of this is Jesus, the very Son of God. Jesus is God's Son, the very God Himself in the flesh. When Jesus came to earth, He didn't simply live in a temple, meditating and spouting mystical truths. Jesus lived among the people. He healed the sick. He cared for the poor. He loved the disenfranchised and defended the weak. Everything Jesus did illustrated God's word and God's love in real life. The greatest demonstration of the love of God was displayed when Jesus gave his life on the cross and paid the penalty for our sin. And the greatest manifestation of the power of God was displayed when Jesus rose from the dead. Thanks for listening to another episode of Good Bible Knowledge. We'll see you next time.